welcome to the 2014 cross country season preview. I'm Shafi Kareem, sports media assistant here at Cal State Fullerton with head cross country coach John Elders. Coach Elders, welcome. Yeah, it's great to be here. So last season the women's team finished fifth at the fifth at the Big West Championships and you returned several key runners such as Katie Bathgate, Emily Taylor, and Ariana Fuentes. Mm -hmm. How important is that trio for the season's success? Yeah, it's really important, um, especially to have them healthy and at the top of their game. Uh, neither athlete last year at the end of the year was uh, 100, at 100%. So uh, with Emily and Katie especially, uh, and Ariana, she, uh, you know, coming off a good freshman year, uh, I think could really step up to the next level this year too. So yeah, those uh, really important to have them healthy and in shape and ready to go. And if we do, we're going to be, you know, a force to be reckoned with. Great. Just a pair of newcomers on the women's side. What other returners or newcomers are you looking to have a breakout season? Yeah, I think the, uh, one of the returners to look for is uh, Anna uh, Valdivinos. Uh, she has uh, been one of our uh, top athletes for the last couple of years, but again, has had some health issues that she's been dealing with. So. Um, if she can stay healthy and uh, train, you know, uninterrupted, and uh, we, she could really uh, run up there with that front group. So that's one person to look for. Uh, we have a cluster of returning girls that are all really close together, so it'll be a great competition, I think, for those like six, seventh, eight spots on the team. Um, and uh, uh, so far, it looks like uh, one of the returners that's kind of stepped up has uh, been Michelle Botello. Uh, a sophomore so um, but there'll be another group of girls right right there uh, with her competing for those next spots let's move on to the men's side finishing mm -hmm. six at the conference championships with almost an identical roster from last season which of those returners do you expect to be the core of the team this season yeah yeah I think uh, leading the way I mean expected to lead the way for us would be uh, Jose Peñaloza uh, Jose uh, is a really talented guy, um, it had a good freshman year as top finisher at the Big West Championships last year, um, and uh, one of the top freshman finishers in the conference. Uh, so I really expect him, you know, to, to go to the next level. Also, uh, Danny Ramirez, who didn't uh, particularly run well at the Big West meet last year, but had a good freshman year overall, and then really came into his own in track in the 3,000 meter steeplechase and ended up fourth in the conference uh, in the 3,000 meter steeple. So uh, I think Danny's really motivated, gained a lot of confidence from track, and so I would expect him to be one of our uh, lead guys as well. You mentioned the youth of both teams last year and that the foundation of the program was being set in place. Yeah. What improvements would you like to see this year as both squads continue to mature? Yeah, I think that's, uh, you're, you're right about that. We were very young last year. We're still pretty young this year. And what I would like to see and what is that because they had one year experience and uh, hopefully understand what the training takes at this level to, to take it to a higher level, that they have done that this summer and um, really have stepped up the level of training. And that's really what it's all about. If they've trained at a high level over the summer, then, they're, then their racing is going to go to the next level. So um, today was actually our first practice. Uh, so. Um, uh, so far, so good. Looks good. The Titans will be making a special trip out to Kansas to compete mm -hmm. in the Rim Rick Rock Farm Classic, mm -hmm. a first ever participation for Fullerton. What is it going to mean for the student athletes to compete at such a historic event? Yeah, I think it's really cool. They, that, that course has actually hosted the NCAA championships in the past. Uh, um, it, it has, I think, statues of Billy Mills and uh, Jim Ryan, you know, along the course and things like that. So it's uh, going to be a great experience for them. But uh, that, that's part of, uh, I think, what we're trying to do here is kind of um, give them a little bit different experience instead of competing against the same teams every weekend, you know, from Southern California. And uh, so this will give them an opportunity to get a little... Uh, flavor of uh, competition from the Midwest and, and run on a really great course, historic course, and I think it'll be good for our program. Great. Fulton will compete at the UCR Ag Ops course on three occasions this mm -hmm. season, including at the Big West Championships. What type of advantages do you see in running in an, an identical course? Yeah, I think that what we'll be able to evaluate, one of the nice things is we run the UC, uh, UC Riverside Invitational um, in early September. And then we run the conference championships there uh, at the beginning of November. So we'll really get to see how we've improved uh, throughout the season. And that'll be a good measuring stick of, of where we're at. 
uh, but also to get experience on the course. A lot of them, since it is a younger group, uh, they, um, they only ran on that course once last year, but not at the championship distance uh, at the Highlander Invitational. So this year they'll get a run at the championship distances at the Invitational, and they'll also run at the Highlander uh, and then at the conference championship. So it'll give them a good, good feeling of what uh, the course is like for the conference meet. The Titans begin their 2014 cross-country season in the Markover Classic at Carbon Canyon Park on Saturday, August 30th. Coach Elders, best of luck to the season, and thank you for your time. All right, thank you.